Hi, just um, back at the orchard. It's the 20th of May and we've been away for a much needed week's holiday beyond the range of internet uh, in North Wales and uh, come back to see what's been going on at the orchard. As you probably know, after the hottest and driest March uh, on record, we've had the coldest and wettest April on record and that cold, wet weather has gone on through April into May. Uh, and I'm just making some kind of assessment of the, um, the prospects for crop this year and they look very bad. Uh, I've just gone over to plum trees and uh, most of them have not got anything on them at all. It's, it's really quite sad. Um, these are the damsons. If you remember back, these are an absolutely fantastic blossom show earlier on. Um, but this is the best we've got cropping anywhere. This is the best number of, dam of plums we have uh, on any of the plum trees. And this hopefully will make a reasonable crop of damsons that most of the other plums are far, 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 far fewer than that. The pears have been hard hit by the miserable weather. Here's a few uh, pears here, but uh, I'm having to look very hard to find just the occasional one or two, and they don't look in great shape. Uh, some of the pears have got nothing on at all. And our new sort of pear orchard um, of the um, uh, the, the pyramids. They're making a lot of growth. All this rain has led to considerable amount of new growth, but very few pears, very few, few and far between. Uh, look at this branch system here. None at all. Well, the only consolation for that is it'll mean less work for me to do in terms of uh, uh, supporting the trees and thinning the fruit out. Let's have a look and see if the apple crop is any better. Of course, the apples blossom later. Um, here's good old sunset. Oh, yeah, I think we might be, might be doing quite well here. Uh, it's still a little early to say. Sunset, a very, very reliable cropper. Incidentally, we, didn't, we haven't sprayed these trees yet this year. We didn't put any pesticide or fungicide. Normally, we'll put a pre blossom combined fungicide and pesticide spray on but we decided against it this year because it was so uh, such fine weather in March. Uh, of course since then we couldn't have sprayed because it's been so windy. It's had a bit of apple scab I see before me. The leaves look quite clean. These are the kids orange red. Yeah I think we're going to get a reasonable crop there. Apples are always our main thing. It's interesting these are some later varieties here we've got some, if I'm not mistaken, uh, oh yeah, these are uh, Laxton's Epicure, which are quite a late blossoming tree, although they fruit very early. And next to them are Sun Tan, not to be confused with Sunset, both Cox uh, derivatives. Interesting, it's in this beautiful show of blossom this late in the uh, season. Uh, it's beginning of the last, last week of May. And next to it, not by uh, accident, is um, Ashmead's Kernel. And there's a good deal of blossom there. There's a number of factors which affect how good a set of fruit you'll get on your blossom. Pollinator varieties, of course, are one thing. And the weather at blossom time, uh, which is something you can't usually control. Uh, and this is why I say to people, even with quite a small uh, orchard, you're very well advised to uh, spread your bats, spread your bats, plant uh, more than one kind of fruit. That way you'll rarely get a total crop failure. These are the, uh, this is um, Egremont Russet. It's too early to say what sort of set this has got, but uh, doesn't look that good. Oh well, it's a cold and windswept orchard. Uh, uh, this is uh, un unseasonally cold. This, uh, from being the brightest, warmest um, beginning to sp of spring, it's turned into the coldest, wettest, most miserable uh, spring I can remember. Still, we have to deal with it. 
uh, weather's well, going to be a bit warmer in the week. We, we win some, you lose some. So grass has grown very quickly, but we can't mow it with our machinery when it's wet. So there we are. Anyhow, that's, uh, I'll return to the orchard later, see what's going on. We've gone from drought to flood in a short time. Hey, but it's still good.